Hey everyone, welcome to It Tastes Different Gaming Appetizers. And what are we talking about this time? Well, we're talking about Alan Wake. Alan Wake 2 is going to be coming out soon-ish, here in the next, in uh, October is when it's released. Uh, it was originally going to be released on October 17th, and it got pushed back 10 days to October 27th. In a press release, uh, release uh, developer Remedy Entertainment didn't cite a technical reason for the delay, only writing that October is an amazing month for game launches, and we hope this date shift gives more space for everyone to enjoy their favorite games. So, you know, again, um, they didn't really give a specific reason other than that, but, you know, I, you know, I looked out at the games coming out here this month and then in September and then October and like the last half of the year here, there is a lot of heavy hitters or a lot of games that I want to play personally. So it makes, I think it makes sense for them to want to push it out. Um, Alan Wake was going to, Alan Wake 2 was originally going to release just three days before the arrival of Marvel Spider-Man 2 and Super Mario Brothers Wonder, which both released on October 20th. So this puts them basically uh, a week out from those releases. And um, I think that makes sense, right? Um, you know, we'll see what these guys think, but I think that makes sense. You know, Alan Wake, th there's going to be people that do want to enjoy Alan Wake and, you know, are already set to purchase Alan Wake. Um, but having Marvel Spider-Man 2 and Super Mario Brothers Wonder may sway their decision where they might play they might pick up Alan Wake maybe at a later time or something like that. And so I think giving that weeks, um, you know, we've talked about this before with other games and why they release around like, you know, in the middle of two big releases or uh, like so close to a big release. Right. Um, or on the day of when you know that that big release is going to basically overshadow. And I think maybe Remedy was probably expecting that you know alan wake and remedy games in general and especially like alan wake and stuff like that they do have their following they have their following of people that enjoy those games and enjoy remedy games and like that but they're not heavy hitters like spider-man or super or you know super mario is going to be uh those are just going to be you know if you look at sales number more than likely mario and and superman or spider-man are going to definitely outweigh the the sales for alan wake so i think for them to get out of the kind of the uh, you know, the, the collection of games coming out then and just kind of put themselves a little further out, I think was probably a good move by Remedy to do that, to kind of give them a little bit of breathing room to say, Hey, we'll come out a little bit later on when maybe you've hopefully by then gotten through at least one of those games or mostly way through. And you're like, Hey, you know what? Cool. I'll pick up Alan Wake now. Um, you know, for, for a lot of people, depending on the people, they can definitely get through Spider-Man or Super Mario in, in 10 days. Um, you know, depending on how much they play it and stuff like that and depending on the player. But I think that gives a little, it gives people a little bit more choice to not think of, you know, cause for me personally, it's like you got Alan Wake, Spider-Man and Super Mario, you know, for an average person, they're going to think, which one of these am I going to get? Right. Um, and so they, you know, those three games coming out right next to each other, they're probably going to more than likely go for Spider-Man or Super Mario Brothers. Right. And then Alan Wake kind of gets pushed aside and people may forget. And then like, you know, it goes on sale one day and then like decide to pick it up. So I think it makes sense for them to kind of get out of the two heavy hitter shadows and kind of be on their own a little further out. But we'll go around and see what everybody thinks about this. Uh, Pat, what do you think about uh, Alan Wake pushing out? Can't compete. I guess that's what they're saying. We can't compete, which I, I would agree with that. Right. I mean, Alan Wake is a. Um, a unique taste on the palate if i will you know they're just a unique flavor of a game not everybody likes them um you know i never played the original i did the little remaster thing when it came out it was okay you know it's not like the best game in the world to me anyway i know people who love the game so you know it's not for everybody just like all games not all most games are not for everybody but uh, the majority of people who have a playstation 5 will be playing marvel spider-man when it comes out, probably all of them. <laughs> and then all the people that have a switch will be playing Mario brothers wonder. Um, because I plan on getting, I plan on getting both of them myself. Um, you know, um, Alan wake. 
it's going to be a say it's going to be a later down the road game for me or if we review it you know we might review that one um there's not a whole lot around that one that i think that we would i mean alone in the dark 2023 comes out you know but around that same time so i don't know um you know star ocean comes out just a little bit after that stuff like that so i don't know i'm uh I don't know. There, there's competition all around the last half of this year, right? Because what's don't they have a big game coming out right in the first of November? What's was one of the Call of Duty games is coming out in November, right? So I think that's going to suck up a lot of people's time. So I mean, they got competition no matter where they go in the month of October, November. Um, it's a little close to the game to be pushing it out if it's not technical related, just because of some competition when they know these games are going to be coming out. Maybe they hoped. Spider-Man would get delayed or, or Mario would get delayed. Nintendo's not very, uh, Nintendo definitely is not very common for them to push dates. They don't push dates that often, you know? So, um, and PlayStation studios, you know, the games they push out Sony and stuff like that, they don't typically, um, delay their games much very, very often either. So they're usually pretty good at polish and stuff. I mean, for the most part, their games, when they say they're coming out, they're coming out. They're not like, some other titles where we're going to push it two or three times <laughs> before it comes out. I think we all know who I'm talking about here. <laughs> so, um, but I mean, it's going to be what it's going to be. I think if you're an Alan Wake fan, you're going to pick it up regardless of when it is, even if you're, even if you're playing those other games. And I can understand where Nick's saying, like you may wait. Right. And if the game doesn't have a very high sales amount in the first week or month of it coming out, People, they may decide to lower the price and that's when a bunch of people jump in on it, which, you know, I can understand that's going to hurt their bottom line, right? They were expecting to get X number of units sold, but then they they got stuck between a rock and a hard place, also known as Spider-Man 2 and Super Mario Bros. Wonderland. So I, I wouldn't want to be stuck in between those two games neither because <laughs> they're going to be heavy hitters. Um, we're in the midst of heavy hitter game season right now. It's just like, you know, it's starting to be like, uh, you know, nerdy gamer season around here. You know, they have hot, they have hot body summers and we have fat nerdy gamer season right now. And that's where we're at. <laughs> so, uh, it's definitely our time to shine. Um, you know, but I think all year long is time for gamers to shine. We play, but it has been pretty lax for the first half of the year. Some good games have come out. I mean, we're just coming out of the Baldur's Gate three where people are playing that and finishing it off. I still have not beaten it, but I have like a crap ton of hours into it. <laughs> so, um, but I, I don't know if we're going to review it, I'll play it right away. If we're not going to review it, I will probably, I'll honestly, I'll probably honestly wait till it goes on sale to get it and then jump in and, and get that one played. Um, but Shane, what about you, man? Are you, are you glad they pushed out? Would you have gotten it regardless if they pushed out right when it came out or what? Uh, yeah. In the words of salt and pepper, push it real good. Um, that's a really old reference. And, uh, yeah, um, I think it was a, uh, a good ideal. Um, if you look at the calendar, at least, you know, for our taste and what we're reviewing, it is, uh, just past the middle of August. Every month has at least one triple a game that pretty much everybody's excited for gamers are excited for, I should say, um, if not more, um, you know, you got Spider-Man and Mario coming out the same time. That's nuts. Uh, I'm going to have them both. Got to. I'm a fan of both. Uh, so Spider-Man and Miles Morales were both just fantastic games. Miles Morales is a little short, but still a fantastic game. That's That was my only complaint about it. Uh, Mario is coming back. And I've been dying for a new Mario. I, I think uh, Mario Odyssey was one of the best in the series, bar none, period. I think they did everything wonderful in that one. Uh, and then, you know, here comes this little... Uh, I, I, it's not an indie game. Alan Wake was not an indie game when it released. It was a passion project, I would say. And it was the original was fantastic. I actually bought the DLC for that. I never buy DLC, hardly ever buy DLC, but I specifically remember buying the DLC for it, the American Nightmares and stuff. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved the game, loved the uh, expansions for it, uh, and it made me happy. That was such a fantastic game. Um, they came out with the uh, uh, HD remaster thing, and it was 
the same game. It was still good. It's just, you know, it was the same game. So it was hard to build the hype. But there are those, and I, I think Nick kind of falls into that boat too, that uh, really excited for the sequel because the original one was so good. The story was so fantastic. The combat was more akin to survival horror than we've had in a long time uh, at that point because Resident Evil started moving away to a little more action and all that. But, you know, that game, you're just starting with a pistol and, you know, a flashlight for 75% of it. You know, it's, it, it, it just works so well. This game needs its space. This game does not need to be wrapped in a, you know, in a triple A blanket trying to, you know, grasp for air. Uh, <laughs> but even then, even then pushing that game out, there's, there's still other games that come out uh, relatively soon to it. I mean, a, it's a new Pikachu game is coming out, if I remember correctly. A uh, new Detective Pikachu, excuse me. Um, and, you know, I think within that same week, uh, I had to double check because I pulled it up earlier and I can't find it. Um, is it going to be enough for that game? That kind of game needs its own playtime, but there's so many big games coming. Is it still going to have enough space to be played? Because, uh, you know, the, the next big one for us is Armor Core, followed by Starfield, followed by Spider-Man, followed by Mario. Uh Followed by fashion features. Oh, wait a minute. That's my list. Um, there's, there's just so many games and they're all, they're all huge games. Starfield itself is massive time frame. It's going to be, I mean, I mean, all their goddamn games are probably my age, but all their games are like, forget your life. You had kids, you will see them at graduation. That's, that's how big those games can get. Uh, Baldur's Gate the same way. There's just so much into it. And it's 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 so addictive because it's such a good game. It's so it just draws you in. And these games take so long. Are are you gonna go from Baldur's Gate three to Starfield? Starfield to Spider Man, Spider Man to Mario. That's so much time. I don't think that's I don't think that pushes far enough back myself. I think Alan Wake is gonna get lost in the in the wasteland. Uh Nick, you're gonna buy it and you're not going to play it till February. <laughs> I mean, just the way things are lined up right now. We need a couple, and I don't wish it, but you know, we need a couple uh, pushbacks from other games to allow time for that game. You know, but it's, it is what it is. I mean, it's that time of year. It's uh, you know, like Pat called it out. It's it's our time. This is our time. You can't take it away, but you can delay it. So. Um, yeah, they need it, uh, push it back. But I think they need to go back a little further or release it a hell of a lot sooner, like in 10 minutes, because there's just, I don't think there's going to be enough time, especially for me, you know, all three of us, you know, we, we have real lives and real jobs that, you know, doesn't allow for 24 seven gaming. I wish it did, but it don't. So, you know, I'm going to make time for that game, but I don't think it'll be on release, unfortunately. So. Well, they, they've got to show that they can beat Alone in the Dark because Alone in the Dark is releasing like two days before their new date. That's, so that's the, right. So they're that's just the fighting for that. They're mm -hmm. just fighting for that horror generation, the horror yeah. genre uh, first place. That's what they're fighting mm -hmm. for. And Which, Nick, uh, I think Alan Wake is better in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. Did Now, Nick, you played a demo for the new Alone in the Dark, did you not? So from what you know of the original Alan and Wake, obviously the new one, you know, probably have some changes, but comparatively to the new alone and dark what do you think i mean is it which one are you going to jump into if you had to choose uh, alan wake i mean not to say that the alone in the dark demo wasn't good it was it was kind of like a precursor to what's going to happen in the game kind of introducing mm. you to one of the characters and stuff like that it's a very short demo i think you can download mm. it still on playstation uh, i believe that's where the demo is at um but I mean, I, and, and this is more of a, I mean, yeah, there's too many games coming out in October or the, the end of this year, really. I mean, there's too many, um, you know, and I think it's a good idea for them to push out to kind of get away from, you know, like, like Pat said, the AAA blanket or, or one of you guys said that, um, to get out of that and, and kind of put themselves a little bit further away. I think they can compete better with Alone in the Dark 
than they could with Spider-Man and, and Super Mario, right? Because again, Remedy, I love Remedy and I love Remedy games. I mean, I'm, I'm a huge fan, right? Um, of these games. So I'm in that pool. I'm in that little niche pool of people that will play it day one and, and play through it because I just love their games. I, you know, Control, which is the last one they came out with. I played and beat that one. I've, I've played through it twice. I think I just, you know, I, I love, uh, Remedy games. So I'm super excited for Alan Wake too. So, you know, for me, I, I was going to get that and play it regardless, but you know, Spider-Man two, I do want to play that one and Super Mario wonder. I want to play that as well. I do want to play the Alan or alone in the dark and, uh, Alan Wake. And, you know, my list is, I wish I was sometimes I kind of wish I was one of those people that only played one game. Right. <laughs> Because it's like <laughs> my list of games. And I mean, and, and even my list of games includes things that probably are not on these guys' list. And I'm sure vice versa, right? And so that just adds more to the list of things that I want to play, and even with back catalog and everything like that. But from Alan Wake's perspective, from Remedy's perspective, it makes a lot of sense, right? They already know they're not going to be able to compete with Spider Man and Super Mario, right? And even any gamer can tell you that's true. Yeah, they're not going to be able to compete with that, right? That's they're just not. Those two are heavy hitters, super heavy hitters. And Alan Wake again, I love the first game, excited for the second one, love Remedy and love their games. But again, they are a. I feel like Remedy games are a a, a small. You know, they have their fan base that love them. And love their games. And those that fan base will be there to support them and buy their game and play it and everything like that. And then other players will come in, you know, periodically. I think I think Control got a lot of players to play that one. You know, a lot of people into that and got them to play that. So, right. But it doesn't, you know, again, uh, Remedy games don't compare to like Spider-Man or, or Super Mario or even like Modern Warfare 3 that's going to be coming out. Right. Um I don't give a crap about Modern Warfare 3, but there's a lot of people that do, right? So Shane, he's he cares. <laughs> no, but I mean, there's a lot of people that care about these, you know, and these big heavy games are uh we already know how they're going to perform, right? We know Spider-Man 2 and Super Mario Brothers Wonder are going to perform great and they're going to be sold out the yin yang and everything like that. And for Alan Wake to come out, you know. Yes, it would be three days before, but if people know Spider-Man's coming out and Super Mario's coming out three days later, they're going to wait on Alan Wake, right? And they still may wait even with this push. And it's it's hard, to, you know, kind of like what Shane said, you know, maybe they should have pushed out further than that, but it's like, how far out do they need to push before they can find a slot that isn't surrounded by a bunch of crap, right? March um, 24. <laughs> yeah, March of next year. But then we'll learn that something else is coming out around that time. Um uh, you know, from whatever's announced now to come out around then. Um, so yeah, it's just, it makes sense to me why they would go ahead and push it out. You know, no technical reason, no, no, like, you know, extra game time or anything like that. It's just really kind of like, Hey, we don't want to be surrounded by these two big games. So we're just going to push out a little ways, you know, cause they can't push out too far cause they don't want to upset the fan base but they want to push out enough that they can maybe get some extra sales from those people that may be done with Super Mario or maybe done with Spider-Man by then that they might pick up Alan Wake at that time. And I think that's the whole reason. I couldn't disagree. Yeah, I can see that because then by then they'll be putting the game on sale, right? Which is not ideal for them. They want, they want as many people buying the game at full price as they can possibly get because it's just going to help their development team. And, and for the most part, I like Remedy Game. I could not get into control as much as Nick did. I've tried multiple times. The problem is that I just don't have time to put that into that game. It has cool concepts and stuff like that. And what I did play, I liked. I just couldn't get back into it. You know, um, I couldn't spend, I couldn't dedicate the time to it. I should say I like remedy games, you know, back in the day, the old Max pains and stuff like that were good and things like that. But I just, I don't know. I need, I need, uh, I need to not have a job so I can play more games. <laughs> and, uh, I need to somehow become independently wealthy so I could spend more time uh, playing video games every day. I told you I'm opening up an ugly brothel. <laughs> How am I going to play video games all day then? <laughs> You'll be on your knees, just face the TV. <laughs> and be like, oh, I can't move. I can't look around. 
I don't know. You got I me just, killed. Yeah, dang it. <laughs> Smack it. Oh, oh, there goes the last another client. Sorry, Shane. He's not coming back. <laughs> I don't know. It's um, it's definitely you know, there's too many games and not enough time because my back catalog is just swelling. I mean, just imagine like I really want to beat and finish um Baldur's Gate 3 and I want to do another playthrough but I'm not going to have time for another playthrough. I'm pushing and squeezing as much time as I can to get get through my first playthrough and I'm not making it. I did not get to finish Final Fantasy 16 as much as I really really want to in that game. So, I can understand uh you know what Nick's saying. Um and, and I can understand where Alan Wake fans are going to be because the Alan people who really love Remedy and want to show support, they're probably going to buy the game when it comes out regardless, but the people who are like, I want to play, but I don't have time are going to just back burner it until they either forget about it or it goes on sale and they pick it up at a discount price, which is going to hurt the development team because they didn't sell the number of units of copies that they wanted to at release. So hopefully this is a good push for them and they beat their sales number so they can keep making games because I believe Remedy makes good games as well. Yep. So we'll see. We'll see how it does for them. I mean, I'll be there day one. And I'll be playing it day one as well. It looks really cool. Um, So I'm super excited for it. You know, if they could get Max Payne back from Rockstar, that'd be awesome. Maybe another Quantum Break. But I mean, a lot of people that I loved Quantum Break besides the ending. The ending was kind of whatever. But the the, the whole movie and game thing, it was it it was a cool concept at the time. Right. It was a concept and 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 mixing a TV show with a video game, but I love the gameplay and, and the the story was pretty good and everything like that. It's just the in boss was kind of lackluster, but other than that, it was a good game um, that I really enjoyed. So yeah, we'll see if this push for, from remedy uh, does anything for them. But like we said, you know, it makes sense that they would want to push that out because there's a lot of big games. I mean, there's a ton of big games coming out at the last half of this year. So pick your poison, right? I mean, if you don't have unlimited funds, which we all don't, we got to have to pick and choose which ones we want to play. We want to try to get them all, but man, there's a lot that my list is ever growing. And so is my back catalog. And it's just getting worse and worse to play through the games that I want to play through. Um, so we'll see how this goes, but you guys got anything else you want to add to this? Nope. nope. I think we shined a light on this. I don't like to. All right. Well, thanks everybody for listening and watching. Uh, make sure to let us know down in the comments below. What do you think? What do you think of the push? Do you think this will help Alan Wake 2? Um, or do you think they'll still be hindered by the releases of, you know, you see that's only 10 days out, right? So that's not a huge amount of time, but that is enough time for someone to possibly complete Spider-Man and Super Mario uh, in that time frame. But that, that'd be a lot of playing, but they could. You know, people complete games pretty quickly, but, um, you know, will that give them enough time that maybe players can come in and, and, and play two games, right. Or pick up Alan Wake Cause they know they're almost done with Spider-Man or something like that. Right. Or super Mario. Uh, and then of course they have alone in the dark that they have to compete with. And also let us know down in the comments, which one, you know, uh, if you are picking up alone in the dark or Alan Wake, you know, which one are you more interested in? You know, let us know. I don't, you know, Alone in the Dark's been a long, uh, gone for a long time. It's finally coming back. It looks good. Um, I like the old Alone in the Dark games, most of them, except for the PS2 ones are kind of eh, here or there. But uh, the older Alone in the Dark, you know, some are good and some are not. So, uh, but this one looks really good. So, uh, you know, let us know down in the comments uh, which one are you most interested in. Other than that, thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Do us a favor, hit that subscribe button. Helps us out. Hit the bell notification to stay up to date with new videos that we do all the time. We'll see you next time. See ya.